a service of CNC Worldwide. The Daily is a service of CNC News and Jib Jab Greetings. I'm Bud Lowell, and your full AccuWeather forecast is right across the top of this and all your CNC local news pages. The boys' varsity and junior varsity coaches at Honeyoy High School in Ontario County have resigned following the alleged hazing incident that led the Honeyoy Central School District to cancel the final three games of its basketball season. Coaches Jim Parshell and Jordan Trowbridge submitted their resignations to a Honeyoy Central Board of Education meeting in the Ontario County School Wednesday night. Both were accepted. District officials confirm the hazing took place on a team bus coming back from a game. Not much more is being said about the incident beyond what was announced earlier in the week, that the Honeyoy Central Code of Conduct was violated and some students have been suspended as a result. Superintendent David Bills said nothing more, but parents talked about five or six varsity players being suspended for having hazed the junior varsity players. The district has not said whether the team will be able to take part in the Section 5 playoffs. Brockport police say one person was taken to Strong Memorial Hospital early Thursday morning following a stabbing incident in the village. The victim was stabbed at the Willow Brook Apartments. Those are across the Erie Canal from the SUNY Brockport campus. Campus police responded as well as village officers. There's no word at this writing on what happened or how badly the victim was hurt. Police in Rochester and Irondequoit are investigating the discovery of a woman's body Wednesday afternoon in Tryon Park an 82-acre wooded area on the city Irondequoit town line. The unidentified woman's remains were found in a ravine beside one of several creeks that feed into Irondequoit Bay, which is the northern border of the park. A county maintenance worker spotted the body and called 911. Firefighters recovered the woman's remains. Police are calling it a suspicious death based on the body's condition, and they're asking anyone with information to call 911. A Yates County woman has been arrested after allegedly passing drugs to her son while he was in jail. The Yates County Sheriff's Department says 54-year-old Kimberly Margison allegedly passed oxycodone tablets mouth-to-mouth -mouth while kissing her son. She's charged with felony criminal sale of a controlled substance, also with promoting prison contraband. Deputies say she passed the drugs to her son, 30-year-old William Partridge, on January 29 while she was visiting him in jail. He was being held at the time on a weapons charge. Margison pleaded not guilty, and she's now being held on $2,000 cash bail. Former Rochester Police Captain Michael Leach has been charged with second-degree murder and weapons violations stemming from the shooting death of his son last summer. Matthew Leach was shot at Clark's Beach Motel in Old Forge on July 21st. Both men were on a motorcycle trip. They were staying at the motel when the son was shot. New York State Police have wrapped up their investigation and the Herkimer County District Attorney's Office filed charges based on its conclusion. Matthew Leach was killed by a single shot from his father's service weapon, one he was issued by the Perry Village Police Department in Wyoming County. That's where he was working at the time. Michael Leach's attorney says his client definitely fired the fatal shot, but he believed there was an intruder in the room and that he was defending himself. Leach is expected to be released on bail pending another court appearance April 5th, and he has been ordered to surrender his firearms while awaiting trial. Rochester Mayor Tom Richards says he is running for re-election this year. The 69-year-old Democrat was asked at a meeting on another topic if he was running. He answered yes, although he said it's really too early in the year to be talking about elections. Mayor Richards says he'll be running to keep up the momentum he's gained on economic development projects like Midtown Rising and downtown housing development. People had been speculating on whether he would go for another term after City Council President Lovely Warren said she was thinking about the job herself. At that time, last month, the mayor hadn't decided if he wanted to go for another term. Meanwhile, the mayor says he's got work to do before it's time to talk about campaigning. By the way, Mayor Richards was speaking at a press conference announcing plans for a Rochester land bank. This would be a legal entity that would acquire vacant, abandoned, or tax-foreclosed properties and turn them into sites ready for new development. The city is teaming with the Greater Rochester Housing Partnership and the Ibero-American Action League in applying to Empire State Development for the program. 
To the left of this player window, you'll find links to these and other stories at the bottom of the page. In the gray bar, links you can use to post news directly to us. You help us dictate our coverage by the things that you share with us. So the next news is as it happens. Updates are as necessary, and you can help us be the judge of that. I'm Bud Lowell, CNC News.